Ever since that first trailer that almost brought me to tears, all I've wanted was to play KSP2. Now just days away from release, my level of excitement is through the roof, however, I can't shake the feeling that something is wrong. With all the trouble in the development cycle which we talked about in a rather controversial video here, you might think that my main concerns would stem from the delays, labor practices, and the direction of the game itself. But as many of you brought up, delays are fine. We want the game to be good when it's ready. And in fact, if anything, early access was a bummer to me because I didn't want the game to be unfinished, and I think it kind of is. Labor practices, yeah, that sucks for those people, but at the end of the day, if people continue to work on the game at one studio or another, it could still get to a finished product that gamers are happy with. And the direction of the game? Well, it looks like Kerbal Space Program, and the people working on it seem to have that vision down pat. In reality, I've been worried about something else for some time now, and it turns out so have many of you. In the comments of my last video, I was bombarded with, what about the system requirements? Yeah, these ones. For the minimum specs, you need a Core i5-6400, RTX 2060 with 6 gigs of VRAM, and 12 gigs of data. Then we bump it up quite a lot on the recommended side, with an Intel i5-11500 and an RTX 3080, with 16 gigabytes of RAM. These are the dreaded system requirements as far as we know. The main bottleneck here is, in fact, the GPU requirements, which was explained expertly by a Reddit user who wrote, Quote, at least 55% of Steam users cannot meet the GPU specs. 10% are bunched under other, but most high-end cards are listed separately, so most of those 10% likely won't meet the specs either. At least 27% of Steam users don't meet their RAM requirements, but there will be a significant overlap with the above group, but not completely. CPU requirements are fairly easy, over 90% will meet those. Storage requirements as well will be no problem. So right away, there were people shouting down other concerned gamers that 20 series cards are 4 years old. If you can't handle these requirements, maybe it's time to upgrade and who knows, maybe they're right. But even if you meet the minimum requirements, you're very likely not meeting the recommended unless you're ready to pony up $800 if you're lucky for a 3080. So the real question becomes, how minimum are the minimum required specs? This really is a value judgment by the devs until the game is out and we can benchmark it. Hold on though, all of this concern and speculation is just that. We don't know anything yet until it comes out. But I want to ask you, have you seen gameplay footage come out that looked smooth? Every time we've had a chance to peek at the game in progress, it's looked kind of low FPS to me. Now, I always look at that with a grain of salt as it was in development, but now, just weeks before the first release, the gameplay trailer looks somehow still a bit low frame? If the best possible computer that they have to run to show this game off is running only that well, how do you think your home PC will fare? I think in my last video, I did a bad job of explaining that I am a giant fan. All I want is for this game to be good and for the dev team to knock it out of the park. I believe they've worked incredibly hard to get to this point, and I want them to be able to sit back and watch their baby get all the love that it deserves. I desperately want to be wrong about this, and by the off chance that I am right, I hope they're able to improve the performance quickly with patches while it's in the hands of adoring fans. I look forward to dumping hours into playing KSP2 with my minimum spec PC. If you want to check to see if your gaming rig can run it, then I found a tool online which I'll link below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.